Uh, we're a social video platform that allows millions of people all over the world to find and collect the best videos they found, share them on their chill profiles, and then see what their friends are watching, um, repost what their friends are watching. And it's really sort of this collaborative consumption of entertainment. Um, some of it's their work and a lot of it's not. It's just interesting video content that they've found from all kinds of sources, short form, long form, music videos, um, to vloggers. All, it all works. We launched uh, originally uh, in August of 2011. Um, we were like any startup, you're experimenting. You, you, you can't, nobody actually knows if something's going to work or not, especially in the consumer internet today. So you really have to. I mean, you have to take that step forward, get the product out there as, as sort of the, the lean startup mantra is just, you know, just ship your code, always just keep shipping, don't, don't let it get too bulky because you never know. Um, and that was a lesson we learned. We shipped some, uh, the initial version of Chill found uh, some unique communities that it worked in, but it, at that time it was a uh, synchronous viewing product around uh, shared rooms where you and I could like watch together um, some clips. Um, I might put up a video, we'd watch it together, have a little chat. We actually had little avatars for everybody. Um, but it ended up being very taxing on users. It meant that if I had to watch your video, I would sit through it. Maybe it's five minutes long. In um, the middle of the day, that's a lot of time. And then you would have to watch my video to actually respond to that. Um, what we realized and we heard from our users was that they actually wanted the ability, one, to just save videos. They're so like, well, I found something cool in that room, but I, I have nowhere to save it to. So they really wanted like a profile. Um, so that was one direction that we kept hearing. Um, we also heard that we wanted to be able to just watch it on our own time. And that was where we really started to think about the asynchronous part of video. And I think mostly that's how video is consumed. You, a video can go viral, but it doesn't, it's, it's rare that we're all watching it exactly synced up at the exact same time, unless it's something that's live. And so we did find success around some live events that we did, either with some musicians, we had like Mindless Behavior and Grace and Chance and like Snoop Dogg would come into the room. So if there was a live video, um, fans would really gather around it. But for the most majority of video, the real stuff that's going viral, it's, um, it's not live, it's on demand. And it's on demand for a reason because you want to be able to consume it at whatever time of day. Um, so that's where we built, um, sort of shifted the product a bit and built this asynchronous experience uh, that we launched in January. And that's where we really saw some traction uh, from January to, to now, I guess it's been about five months. Um, we've seen really tremendous growth. Um, we're deeply integrated into Facebook, so we're we're in what a lot of people call the social video space. We've really taken the idea of, of it's, it's okay to broadcast and share your consumption of video. Um, if you look at it, it was done around video, uh, music with Spotify and RDO. You're seeing, con I'm constantly finding new songs just because of I'm seeing the, that constant stream of what my friends are consuming. Um, we think that same discovery can happen in video. And so that's where we've seen some really tremendous growth. Yeah, in terms of funding, we, uh, we raised our Series A. We just announced it yesterday. Um, so here we are at VidCon one day after. Uh, we raised $8 million in the Series A, uh, led by Kleiner Perkins, some of the best VCs uh, in the world, uh, and also William Morris Endeavor uh, and Atlas Venture as well. Uh, and there's a few other investors, but if I start naming them, I'm going to leave someone off. Um, so those are, those are the big guys. Um, and it's, certainly, it's, it's definitely um, a, a strong, like they, there's a strong vote of confidence that video is an incredibly valuable space to be in right now. Um, I think where people thought it was, it was probably a little premature about four years ago and there were some initial bets made. Um, we saw sort of the first wave. YouTube tended to, to crowd out a lot of the oxygen in the room as that product really developed. But now as like, you're watching most of traditional entertainment start to figure out, okay, eventually we're gonna have to go online. How are we really gonna go online? It cannot just be um, a low CPM, uh, bottom of the mill auction ad-based inventory that's going to support what is effectively Game of Thrones type content. So there's, the industry is in this incredible like, 
uh, one foot in each pond right now. I'd say, I'd say really it's more like most of the body is in this one pool of, of traditional entertainment and there's, you know, the toe was dipped in and I think now we're probably getting like the leg is dipped in in terms of, uh, wow, it's a pretty, that's a pretty bad metaphor. But you get the idea that, that it's obvious that the water is filling up in the other pool, which is online consumption of video. So we're just, like I think that's where the opportunity is for new platforms to emerge to say, hey, here's another way to reach the consumer. Here are ways to extract value along the way. So it isn't just all selling the cheapest ad unit you can possibly um, sell in front of a video. We're primarily a technology company. I mean, Chill is, has honestly like one of the best product teams I've ever seen working in video. And my background before this was found a tube filter and did the Streamy Awards and had, I interviewed all kinds of video companies over the years. Um, and you know, a lot of things, some worked, some didn't, but this is like a pure engineering team. So we, we definitely are investing in, in our engineering team. That is, I think that's really where you can differentiate. If you can really um, build the best product, the, the cons that really reaches the consumer and they're addicted to, um, then you have something of long-term value. So that's our main focus, of course, is in engineering and really just, just delivering the best video possible to the consumer. Um, so we work with some great publishing partners and content partners who use Chill to reach audience. But the, and they turn to us because we are trying to learn as much as possible about the consumer and really like, really anticipate what they want to watch before even necessarily they do.